These fruits are commonly known in English as dragon fruit, a name used since 1963, apparently resulting from the leather-like skin and prominent scaly spikes on the fruit exterior. The names pitahaya and pataya derive from Mexico, and pataya roja in Central America and Northern South America, possibly relating to pitahaya for names of tall cacti species with flowering fruit. The fruit may also be known as a strawberry pear. The fruit's texture is sometimes likened to that of the kiwi fruit because of its black, crunchy seeds. The seed oil contains the fatty acids linoleic acid and linolenic acid. Dragon fruit is used to flavor and color juices and alcoholic beverages, such as dragon's blood punch and the dragadini. The flowers can be eaten or steeped as tea. The red and purple colors of some selenicereous fruits are due to betacianins, a family of pigments that includes betanin, the same substance that gives beets, Swiss chard, and amaranth their red color. As the nutrient content of raw pataya has not been thoroughly analyzed or published as of 2019, the USDA Food Data Central database reports one limited product label entry from a manufacturer of a branded product, showing that a 100-gram reference serving of dried pataya provides 1,100 kilojoules of food energy, 82% carbohydrates, 4% protein, and 11% of the daily value each for vitamin C and calcium, see USDA link in table. After a thorough cleaning of the seeds from the pulp of the fruit, the seeds may be stored when dried. The ideal fruit is unblemished and overripe. Seeds grow well in a compost or potting soil mix, even as a potted indoor plant. Pattaya cacti usually germinate after between 11 and 14 days after shallow planting. As they are cacti, overwatering is a concern for home growers. As their growth continues, these climbing plants will find something to climb on, which can involve putting aerial roots down from the branches in addition to the basal roots. Once the plant reaches a mature 4.5 kilograms in weight, the plant may flower. Pattaya flowers bloom overnight and usually wilt by the evening. They rely on nocturnal pollinators such as bats or moths for fertilization. Self-fertilization will not produce fruit in some species, and while cross-breeding has resulted in several self-fertile varieties, cross-pollinating with a second, genetically distinct plant of the same species generally increases fruit set and quality. This limits the capability of home growers to produce the fruit. However, the plants can flower between three and six times in a year depending on growing conditions. Like other cacti, if a healthy piece of the stem is broken off, it may take root in soil and become its own plant. The plants can endure temperatures up to 40 degrees Celsius and very short periods of frost, but will not survive long exposure to freezing temperatures. The cacti thrive most in USDA zones 10 to 11, but may survive outdoors in zone 9A or 9B. Selenicereus has adapted to live in dry tropical climates with a moderate amount of rain. In numerous regions, it has escaped cultivation to become a weed and is classified as an invasive weed in some countries. Stems and fruits are susceptible to several diseases caused by fungi, bacteria, a nematode, and a virus. Overwatering or excessive rainfall can cause the flowers to drop and fruit to rot. The bacterium Xanthomonas campestris causes the stems to rot. Dothiorella fungi can cause brown spots on the fruit. Other fungi known to infect pataya include Botrysferia dothidia, Cultatrichum glowiosporioides and Bipolaris cactivora. A pataya or pitahaya is the fruit of several different cactus species indigenous to the Americas. Pataya usually refers to fruit of the genus Stenocereus, while pitahaya or dragon fruit refers to fruit of the genus Selenicereus, formerly Hylocereus, both in the family Cactaceae. Dragon fruit is cultivated in Peru, Mexico, South Asia, Southeast Asia, East Asia, the United States, the Caribbean, Australia, Mesoamerica and throughout tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Pitahaya or dragon fruit is native to southern Mexico and Central America. The dragon fruit is cultivated in East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, the United States, the Caribbean, Australia, and throughout tropical and subtropical regions of the world. Stenocereus fruit, sour patayas, are a variety that is commonly eaten in the arid regions of the Americas. They are more sour and refreshing, with juicier flesh and a stronger taste. The sour pataya or pataya agria s. gumosis in the Sonoran Desert has been an important food source for indigenous peoples of the Americas. The Seri people of northwestern Mexico still harvest the fruit, and call the plant Zixas ccapxl, thing whose fruit is sour. 
The fruit of related species, such as S. queroteroensis and the dagger cactus S. griseus are also locally important foods. The fruit of the organ pipe cactus S. thurberi, called ul by the cerus, is the pataya dulce, sweet pataya. It has a more tart aroma than selenicereous fruit, described as somewhat reminiscent of watermelon.